Hi, beautiful. The wolf cut and the butterfly cut are just the best haircuts ever. They are the cutest, sexiest, most perfect haircuts to ever exist. Everybody who's tried them, it always just comes out so beautiful. And every time it's like an extremely massive before and after that just looks insanely good. And I'm like, y'all do that yourself? Damn, good job. But as you may know, there are differences between the wolf cut and the butterfly butterfly cut and sometimes it's hard to pick between the two. Two very easy cuts to do yourself, similar but different beautiful results. So how about I help you make that decision? Let's get into the differences between the two cuts and let's decide which one is best for you. So if you're new here, let's talk about what the butterfly cut is and what the wolf cut is. The wolf cut is edgy. It's fierce. It's kind of a mix between a shag and a mullet. A shullet. You can call it whatever you want. Think a very 70s haircut, but with a slight modern twist. Here's some inspo of wolf cuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, the butterfly cut is a soft, flowy, layered look, like the wings of a butterfly. It's just like, oh, feathery and with the wind. It's just beautiful. Think whimsical with a touch of elegance. It's a lot more wispy, whereas the wolf cut is a lot more structured and a lot more fierce and edging in your face. And here's some examples of butterfly cuts. That's cute. That's cute. Oh, that one. That's cute. Now, the way you get to the end result of the wolf cut and the butterfly cut is pretty similar, but a little different. With the wolf cut, you're taking all the hair and gathering into one and doing a simple whoosh, along with a few other steps that make it look even better. And then with the butterfly cut, you're separating your hair into two sections instead of one. You're pulling the hair into your ponytails and then you're cutting the hair and you're doing a few more steps after that. But it's pretty simple and it's pretty much just that. So like I just told you, one of them just has one ponytail and the other has two, which makes it a little bit different. A little the same. This is a super sped up version of how to do the wolf cut. Look how simple, look how easy. Yes, ooh. Damn, that looks good. And this is a super sped up version of the butterfly cut. Oh my gosh, two sections instead of one, wow. Ooh, yes, this looks good, yeah. It looks so nice, I love it. Similar, but different, you know what I mean? You see it, you see what I'm saying there? Okay, and if you wanna know how to do these cuts, by the way, I obviously have tutorials on how to do them, so they are linked below. Get to the end of this video, figure out which one's best for you, and then follow those tutorials. Okay, okay, you know what they are, you know slightly how they're done. Now you're still like, Brad, what the fuck? I literally came here just to understand which one's best for me. And I'm like, God, okay, chill. Let's talk about the pros and the cons of both haircuts. Because believe it or not, there are cons to both of them. Let's start off with the wolf cut. This one, this cut, remember? Pros, it's an edgy haircut. It's an instant style statement. You're gonna walk into that room and people are gonna be like, damn, she or he or they or them, they have an amazing, sick, edgy haircut. Mm, I wanna be their friend, they're cool, I am all over that, I'm all into that. You know, it just gives you that vibe, it's like sick. Next, it's perfect for wavy and curly hair. Both haircuts are great for textured hair, but I don't know, I love a wolf cut with some curls with some waves. It looks so sexy and good. And lastly, the wolf cut sometimes requires less maintenance because of the shape of it. It's a little bit easier to style. It has less of that movement around the face. Next, let's go over the cons of a wolf cut. It was hard for me to curate a list of cons because it's a fabulous haircut, but I, I I did it. This might not be great for people with super straight hair. These sort of one chop haircuts, um, sometimes when you have pin straight hair, you can see kind of all the lines and all the stuff going on. So this is really great for somebody who's gonna blow out their hair or wear it wavy or wear it curly. And lastly, with any haircut, it can look kind of unkept and a little crazy if you don't style it correctly. <laughs> I see that a lot. So if you don't know how to style your hair, you don't know how to blow dry your hair, maybe let's stay away from the wolf cut, but also we can learn how to style our hair. It's not a problem, I got you. I also have plenty of tutorials for that too. Next, pros of the butterfly cut. This one I just kind of like better, I don't know why. It just like has a vibe to it. It has like a whole moment. This cut to me is very versatile and leans on that feminine side. And because it's so wispy and light and airy, it has a more feminine touch to it. This cut also adds mega volume to your hair. You're gonna get a lot more shorter layers up through the crown region with this cut. So when you blow out your hair, you're gonna get that mega volume that actually 
actually stays. And if you wear your hair curly or wavy, you're gonna also have that mega volume because your curls are not being weighed down by the weight of long hair. It's gonna be quite short in the back within the layers. And this cut is suitable for most face shapes. Anybody can wear any cut, but if you wanna look the best, the most appealing to the masses, I think a butterfly cut is really good. And the cons of a butterfly cut. It requires regular trims. When the layers in this cut get a little too long, it just looks unkept and kind of mm, like kind of mm, 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 like girl, let's maintain it please. You know, it does require a bit of maintenance. And just like the wolf cut, this one also requires you to style your hair. Unless you have that wavy or curly hair. If you have hair that's on the straighter side, you're gonna wanna do a blow dry. You're gonna wanna do some waves. You're gonna wanna do some curls, like something to just give it a form and to really accentuate those layers you just put in your hair hair. It just makes everything come together and look really good. However, you can do whatever you want. You know, I'm just here for suggestions. We're so close, guys, to figuring out what is the best cut for you. Let's talk about face shape. If you don't know your face shape, there is a video of mine linked below for you where I explain all about face shapes and we figure out which one you have. So fun and you should watch it. So here are a few different kinds of face shapes. You probably fit into one of these shapes. Like I said, if you don't know, watch the video. Once you know your shape, let's talk about which one of these cuts is most optimal for your face shape. Are you oval? Are you round? Are you square? Are you hard? Well, each face shape has a style that complements it best. So let's figure out which one's for you. Wolf cuts are so perfect for people with round or oval face shapes. It just looks so good. I personally I personally love a round face. I love when it's just like, I love a haircut that also kind of cuts into that roundness and gives it some more shape. Like, I don't know, it just looks so put together and so beautiful, but with all that layering, you're gonna get maximum definition of that jawline, of those cheekbones, and really accentuate the sh out of your round or oval face. It's for you. And for butterfly cuts, they're very versatile. While this cut is fitting for most face shapes, I typically love this cut on people with square or heart-shaped faces and anywhere in between. You know, something with an angular face, it looks amazing on. You're adding that volume up here and you're also adding the volume down here, you know? So you're getting a lot of this roundness. So when you have an angular face and you're trying to feminize it, it does help to have sort of that that round bulkiness up here and the softness down around your face. Looks incredible. Now, you probably have your mind made up by now. Hopefully I've helped you figure out which one is best for you. But I can also assure you that both are gonna look amazing. You know, it's really just a personal preference at the end of the day. I can help guide you, but it's what you feel inside. It's what makes you excited. It's what inspires you and the look that you like the most. You know, do what makes you feel good and what excites you. I also wanna to mention a few styling tips for today's video because styling a wolf cut and a butterfly cut is super important to making it look amazing for you. For a wolf cut, I love styling a natural texture with it. So using things like a wave foam, a sea salt spray are going to be optimal for styling this look. You can really just scrunch it and play with it and it'll fall into place beautifully. You can also go the blow dry route and use a leave-in cream or you can use a conditioning mist or an oil to get a really soft, pretty, glowy look. This is how I typically blow dry my wolf cuts to get a really beautiful natural texture. Now with the butterfly cut, it's very similar, but I love to use a volumizing foam in my butterfly cuts because usually they're just so fun to create intense volume on. So put that volumizing foam right at the roots, put a little leave-in cream on the ends and blow it out beautifully. Or you can scrunch your hair and let it air dry with a wave foam similar to the wolf cut or a sea salt spray if you want that nice lived in texture. And this is how I like to blow out that look, and here is a wavy version of that. I know what you're thinking, Rather they look the same. No, they're similar, but they're different, <laughs> I promise. When you actually get your hands into it, it does feel different, and when you shake your head and you move it around, you're going to feel a more weightless effect with the butterfly cut versus the wolf cut. But if you're sitting here and you're like, Brad, I'm still so confused on what I should do next. Listen, consult with a stylist. The DIY path is definitely great for some, but not all. There are skilled professionals, of course, that can help you pick which cut is best for you. So I hope you try one out and I cannot wait to see it. If you end up doing it yourself, please send me the videos. I love to see them and I love to see the confidence wash over your faces when you're finished blow drying your hair after one of these haircuts or scrunching or letting it air dry, whatever. You know what I mean? Seeing the results and seeing the confidence on your faces when you're done, I live for it. It makes me so happy and just so excited to come and do my job every day. Well, that's all for today, guys. 
thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out my hair care line, Ex Mondo at... Uh, what am I doing? What? Well, that's all for today, guys. Make sure you check out my hair care line, Ex Mondo... What is it? <laughs> Don't forget to check out Xmondo, link below, or go to xmondohair.com. That is all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.